Hi everyone, welcome back. We're looking today at collars for your greyhound. In part one, we looked at their tag collar and today we're going to look at collars for taking them out for a walk. First of all, why do you need two collars? As we said in part one, the tag collar is a usually a narrow collar that's used to hold the identity tag. And on greyhounds, this is not suitable for walking your dog. They have a long neck and the structures at the throat are very easily damaged if the dog pulls and a narrow strap puts pressure around their neck. So we have our tag collar for their identity tag and we need a different sort of collar for them to walk out. And typically their walking out collars are much wider so that if they do pull, the weight is distributed more widely around the neck and these delicate structures are protected in their throat. So we have two options. There's the martingale collar and there's the fishtail collar. Let's take a look at each of these options in a bit more detail. This is a standard greyhound fishtail collar, wider in the middle. This section goes against the dog's throat and the buckle goes round the back of their ears, the narrow bit. So the wide part of the leather is protecting the dog's throat and you have a ring here. This one's slightly stretched. You have a ring here to put the lead on to and it fits up here right behind the ears tight enough that if they were to pull backwards, as Jimmy likes to do, then it's not going to come over their ears. Can we take that off, young Jim? Thank you. Our alternative is the martingale collar. You know this is a martingale collar and different to the wider tag collar that we looked at because this has the adjustable strap. Careful, sweetie, careful. It has the adjustable strap on the length but it also has these two metal bars and within those are an additional section that allows it to pull tight. The dog's head goes through the big loop and your lead goes on the small loop. So as you pull or they pull, the collar gets tighter and can squeeze around the neck. When the dog is relaxed, they have a bigger ring. And again, this has no safety feature. It's not going to come undone if they pull too hard however there is the risk of it squeezing if these bars are positioned so that there is too much space between them so that's our martingale collar and now we've looked at the two different types of collars you're perhaps thinking how do I choose which is the best one for me and my dog if the dog is new to you I would tend to use a properly fitted fishtail collar and I do have a separate video on fitting a fishtail collar. In a nutshell it should be tight up, Gandalf will we demonstrate please? It should be tight up here round the dog's ears. This is the narrowest part of their neck. If it's tight up here they cannot pull out of it. So that is the safest thing for them to wear and until you know what they might do in different situations personally I feel that is the safest option. Once you know your dog a little bit better, it might be that you choose to wear a martingale when they walk instead of the fishtail. However, I would only ever use a martingale on a pretty well-behaved dog because of the risk of that collar tightening on their neck and squeezing if they jump about. Most fishtail collars are fitted to one length. On the martingale, people tend to fit them so that they allow the collar to get tighter if the dog pulls. And this means that if you pull and the collar tightens, you put pressure on the neck. That is, in effect, a form of punishment or aversive. And that can mean if you have a reactive dog and they're leaping around on the end of the lead, the collar is squeezing their neck. It makes them even more frightened or even more angry in a particular situation because they have this pain now associated with that situation. So if your dog is nice and calm and walks in a beautiful, calm manner next to you, then martingale collar. But if there is any concern about how they might behave, I would always use a fishtail. And even better than that, to be honest, would be for them to wear a harness. And again, I have a separate video on harnesses for your greyhound. If you do have a reactive dog, a harness is often the best option. 
And for an extremely reactive dog, I would use a harness in conjunction with a fishtail collar. So that's all for today. We'll be back again soon with more videos for you. Bye for now. Look out for new videos every Monday and why not subscribe so you don't miss out.